How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, we do this five days out of the week. Maybe you had a long, maybe, well, you know what? You shouldn't have had a long and stressful day. It is the weekend. The market is open on Monday. Let's get into it. So here comes the joke of the day. Why did the M&M go to school? It wanted to be a smarty. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But anyways, what we're gonna be talking about today is OCGN. You guys know tomorrow is Monday, so I wanna make sure you're prepared. I ended up getting a recent update and I'm gonna share it inside of this video because it will have an impact on the stock. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the recent update that came out from who? And then secondly, we're gonna be going into the technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. I'm gonna show you the bearish case scenario and as well as the bullish case scenario for the short term for OCGN. And then we're gonna go on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information. This is key because it will have an impact on the overall stock and the way it performs. And then we're gonna take a look at the order flow distribution on the Friday. The reason why this is key, we wanna see was there a lot of buying happening on on the inflow side or do we have a lot more outflows in regards to selling and we're going to see this for the retail and as well as for the institutional side and then afterwards and when all of that is done we'll go into the final thoughts and as well as some more details as well so we're going to go over the recent update that came out earlier this morning and this is from dr sumia i'm just hoping i didn't butcher her name all right so the technical advisory group will meet on october 26 to consider eul for covaxin who has been working closely with barat biotech to complete complete the dossier. Our goal is to have a broad portfolio of vaccines approved for emergency use and to expand access to populations everywhere. So right away, when you get this update, what's going to be happening on the Monday, I would not be shocked if we end up having some selling pressure and the stock pulling back. So I want to make sure that you're prepared for that. As far as for traders, they're going to be playing this on both sides of the coin, but also this could open up our opportunity. If you believe that they're going to get this EUL, you could see some upside here. And this is why I wanted to bring this to your attention right away. So now let's jump into the technical and Analysis. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Occugen. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So it ended up closing at $8.66, being down 13.83%. On the low, it tested $8.56, and then on the high, testing $10.07. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 44.376 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 34.478 million shares. So what you can see there, we did have above average volume on the day, but due to the fact we were unable to get that decision, many were selling out not wanting to hold over the weekend and we could see the pressure that was put on the stock. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a one year daily chart, we can see from the RSI down below, it is right around 59.23. And then when we take a look at the moving averages on our chart, of course, we have strength above all of them, which is the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA. So for this coming week, Monday to be exact, I wouldn't be too surprised if we end up having a pullback here to the $8 level due to the fact we did get some recent news in regards to who. So I want to see $8 actually hold up, but if we end up pulling back to the 21 day EMA at $7.89, I wouldn't be surprised about that either. And then of course, I'd want to see if we'd be able to bounce off of it or would it bring through it and if it does decide to break through it then i'm going to be looking for it to hold down the 50 day at around seven dollars and 59 cents we can call it seven dollars and 60 cents as far as on the friday where we had resistance it was clear we had it right here at this ten dollar level Will we be able to actually revisit this level on the Monday? I'm having a hard time seeing that, but if we do end up revisiting, of course, I'm gonna to wanna to see some strength above it so we can get to this previous high we had right over here to where we can get past 1060 and then make that move to 11. So that would be like the best case scenario. So we're gonna take a look at the short interest information for OCGN. So we see the dark pool short volume ratio, 55.20%. And then for the dark pool short volume being just over 
over 14.23 million shares. Scrolling down further on the page, the short shares availability is at 400,000 updated nine minutes ago. And then for the short borrow fee rate, it is at 2.64%. Scrolling down further, seeing the history of the short volume ratio, we could see the close for the 14th, which was last week, Thursday, was 53.19. And then the close for October the 15th was a Friday that had just passed, we're at 55 point two zero so ocgn does continue to have short squeeze potential but one thing we can clearly see shorts have increased their positions so this is one thing to keep in mind and contributes to the volatility inside of the stock so now let's move on to the order flow distribution now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for ocgn so we can see here on the inflow it was 84.04 and then on the outflow it was 88.10 when we take a look at the breakdown you could see it was zero on the large 57.68 on the medium and we also had 26.36 on the small when taking a look at the outflow side we had zero on the large on the medium we had 62.04 and then on the small being 26.06 when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you could see for october the 15th which was a friday that just passed we ended up having zero so taking a look at the breakdown very quickly you can see as far as for the small scale order Orders, which represents the retail side we did have more inflows than outflows but it was fairly close and when we take a look at what happened on the medium we have slightly more outflows so a lot more selling so what looks very clear here as far as traders are concerned a lot of them did not want to hold this play over the weekend but we also did have the retail side people buying in saying hey what if the decision does come over the weekend or comes after hours so keeping this in mind I want you to know as far as Monday is concerned there's going to be a lot of volatility that's going to be coming ahead but I do believe it does open up opportunities and is why I want you guys to keep your eye on this play many were saying well you know what they were thinking about buying in when it was higher at the $10 range and so forth again there's an opportunity here focus on getting into plays when they dip instead of buying at those highs especially if you have high conviction so now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well so for my final thoughts for OCGN I know many people are not going to be excited about the delay but for myself I really don't mind it I have a lot of patience I've been talking about OCGN for quite some time on this channel so if it does decide to pull back you guys already know I'm going to capitalize on the opportunity as far as for yourself this is why it's important you're doing your homework and you're doing your due diligence I get a lot of questions I see it inside of the comments people will say well you know what oh OCGN's at nine bucks should I be buying it right now even when it made that move to ten people are asking me hey should I be buying it at ten dollars now there's a good chance that this stock can pull back even further to those levels and I'm talking about getting to eight and even possibly seven dollars so I look at that as a better opportunity than buying at nine or even at ten that's just my personal opinion it makes the most sense especially when you're going in with options we already know minor price changes impact the value of the option so if you can get in at a good price especially on a pullback you'll be able to ride those profits up as far as traders are concerned they're going to be all over this play playing it in both directions whether it's the downside or whether it's the upside so this is going to contribute to the volatility and also when we went on fintel taking a look at the short interest information we already know shorts are going to be having a field day with this but one thing that is very clear with the buying volume coming into the play which we saw last week we could see some very strong moves to the upside i also get the question hey what do you think the price of ocgn is going to be after after getting this e well before I was saying hey I just want to see this stock get above ten dollars but since I saw I got the ten dollars and sixty cents last week I'm saying you know what if we get this e well I'm looking for it to be at least twelve dollars plus I'm not capping it at twelve because I know many people be like you don't think it's gonna go to fifteen you don't think it's gonna go to twenty I'm just saying if it gets to twelve dollars and there's movement from there I'm not gonna be mad I'm gonna be happy but I just have it set for myself for twelve dollars so if you've been looking at this play do your homework do your due diligence Diligence, and if it does decide to pull back, there might be an opportunity for you to consider. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.